so you have several options. You can either investigate this area or clear it out, or you can go through the doors and then figure out where to go from there. Um, I'm up for wherever you guys are. We could bring doors. that thing with us. Go through the doors. Going. We know what's down there. Yeah. Who knows what treasure you might be missing this. down over here? <laughs> <laughs> These look really hard wow. to penetrate, those doors. Wow. Well, can the um, missile, whatever the hell it's called, the, the dragon of, of wheels, yep. make that turn? Because it seems like one of the squares is cracked away. Uh, you, not sure. Hmm. What seems cracked away? Uh, the hallway right, right there. He's working in places uh, where well, his you know. character is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, my bardic senses <laughs> tell us that we can't go that way. He just sends out sound echoes. We'll, they come we'll back. go down. You know, there's a, there's a little door, there's a room there. I mean, should we should we just tear through here and try to get some treasure? Or do you guys want to press on? I think you should press on. All right. We have a press on. All right. That seems to be the vote, right? Yeah. Three to two? Unless. <laughs> Clearly you are not on board. Very well. Although I will say, if we can't get that cool uh, flamethrower thing through the hallway, we should go back and use it in the other room. That's, that's my caveat. All right, I'm with you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm here to okay. serve the party. So you want to turn your construct thing around and take it with you? Or leave it where it is? I'll take it with. Okay. When you get through the doors to around here, you have a choice. You can either follow the masonry hallway where it widens, or you can drop down into this grotto and essentially follow a, the cavern. Uh, you see that it's cold here. There's some icicles hanging <laughs> off the roof of the cavern here. Uh, this hallway is adorned with uh, dwarven frescoes and mosaics, uh, and looks a little bit more. Uh, I enjoy those. Uh, now, if you were a shield, where would I be? You wouldn't hmm. be hanging in the marble hallway. You would be down in the grotto. You would? <laughs> what? <laughs> Time out. If, there. if I was a shield, if I was a shield, that was being. Uh, it all depends. Like if it's a. Am it I being hidden? Wasn't or it, it buried with the Malarkin dwarves? So wouldn't it be with like their the um, or coffers something? or something? I didn't get that part. <laughs> <laughs> My if, if there was a briefing. Was very <laughs> I think it was buried with their yeah. owners. Whenever in oh, our weekly okay. game we change elevation, it's usually disaster. But a black cloaked wizard did come in here and crazy shit up. That's since since then, so he could have done anything. So the grotto? That makes well, sense to me if it's buried. I forgot get, it was buried. We case, can't get the flamethrower uh, down that oh, crazy. Yes, we, can. we just can't get it back out. Down there. Well, that seems... Again, my vote is to not do that. Hef's grotto or the halls? Well, we're not to be able, supposed to be able to see what's here. Or the hallway, I should say. Okay, uh, you're right. Do stairwells lead to a new map? I'll follow you in uh, there. You know from the Dwarven face a little bit about this area, and you do know that there was a hall, some sort of regal hall there. That's about all it was able to tell you. As for staircases and stuff, you just don't know. Mm. A regal hall, like maybe a tomb hall? Hmm. But I'm saying, as someone who does not play this game, if you get to a stairwell, does then the map... Yes, there's a new piece of paper. Right. Often, yes. Places lead places. Yeah. Do we get action points back because we healed? Uh, you don't. If you spent them, you don't have them until you go through another encounter. encounter. If you still have yours, of course, you can so spend it. So at the start of another encounter or the start of the at, second encounter? At the, when you've completed two encounters, you get your action point back. Okay. So just to recap, we're looking for that shield, and <laughs> yep. we think the shield is buried. We, we think or we know the shield was buried with its owner. Uh, she, uh, Trillian, told you that it, is, it was entombed with its uh, owner. Well, you know what? Uh, since uh, Bluebell was yep. the one who was MVP for opening the doors, mm. more, better than anyone else could have done, I say we follow Bluebell's lead. All right, All right. Bluebell will make the final call, but let's say, <laughs> show of hands, who wants to go to the, uh, the ornate hallway that probably has central air? <laughs> <laughs> a little more comfortable. A refreshment stand. Do we want to find these shields, or...? What I've do you got guys shield say? vision. That's all I can see. All That's right. All Tunnel vision. For. All right. Yeah, I definitely want to stick to the quest line. Then let's. I guess it makes sense if the shields are buried with dwarves to go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to all the right. grotto. All right. <laughs> all right. Into the grotto. Uh, as you see on the map, there are these little lines with the hatches that indicate five foot elevations down. Uh, mm. So this is five feet lower than this. This is five feet okay. lower than this, etc. And so forth. Um, when you get there, you don't see much. The grotto is a little bit icy, but not nearly as treacherous as the room you left. You don't have to make checks or anything like that. Mm. Uh, 
and climbing down doesn't seem particularly difficult. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit more difficult climbing up. What skill do you use for climbing back up? Athletics. Mm. <sighs> I have great athletics. I've got pretty good. Well, well I got a zero, so I'm all set. Oh, I do have good athletics. Conjure a floating disc. There's not a negative next to you. <laughs> and it's completely dark, so you're basically like relying on your torches. <laughs> All right, well, we got a flamethrower. Should the flamethrower go first and just clear stuff out? Well, that's the thing about your flamethrower. You're not convinced it can descend too well. Should we leave it up here watching our back? Sort of like pushing it. It's on up. wheels. We can leave it on the fence behind us. I can't, I don't think I can, can Tensor's floating disc support it? I don't think so. No. no. Here's the thing. Too what small. What is it gonna do is really leaving it behind? None. How is it gonna protect <laughs> us behind? But if we all push it, we can get it down there. <laughs> I don't I don't like how you guys are stepping on our wizard's toes when he's the one that spent five turns freeing this son of a bitch and you guys want to literally tumble it down <laughs> these five foot <laughs> these five foot down. cliffs <laughs> because there's no point in leaving him behind. That's my understanding that they're not Listen, steps. Ran it, only take. it only represents a decline. They are in fact steps. <laughs> <laughs> to the to the to the tune of five feet, well, there you and go. you guys want to just roll this thing down? Well, now that we have all the info, yeah. Do any of us have any sort of uh, like shoveling abilities where we could make a ramp? <laughs> My shoveling number. We could build up a ramp. Make a sort of lathe. Yeah. Does anyone's uh, equipment include a ramp? Let's lay some planks down. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm, I'm not doing manual labor other than getting. We got video. along just fine no, without the flamethrower. Can we use rope? to tie off the back and lower it down uh, a step at a time. You think so. It's, it's time consuming, but not particularly you know what, arduous. So it takes some effort, but we can lower it down. Let's go down first. If we find we need it, we may come so back. Leave it up here and I'm like pointing <laughs> outward. It's like going into war. And you've and got an tank awesome tank. Behind. But eh. We'll leave the tank here. <laughs> if we when we, get, we need to lower it by rope or leave it when or we, go in. Or do we just want to go in the hallway? What if the so stealth When we get to the end of this podcast weapon. and we don't have a fucking shield, <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys to remember how much landscaping we did just so this flamethrower could follow us into the grotto. And I, I hope you well, guys are proud of this. yourselves. Do we still want to go to the grotto? Since, we, since this can. <laughs> so we're, doing, we're basing our entire strategy. <laughs> on this semi-sentient flamethrower. When, well, when did he become maybe, the most important maybe, member of our team? Listen, it, said, it, said, it said buried with the guy, but maybe it's a, a nice tomb in a, in, a, in a very marble, nice... For one maybe thing, don't badmouth that flamethrower. <laughs> he, I like that member of the team better than I like you. He's way more useful. That's what I'm All you do is, all you do is walk three squares and trip and fall. I ask it of its of its abilities and and where it I came from. I burn things. And where who built you and commanded you previous to me? Torak Iron Mantle. To Torak. We mm. could ask him if he knows about the shield. Hmm. Do you know anything of the uh, Malarkin dwarves and their shields? Torak was one of them. Oh. Mm. He's Do like the face. Does he know where Torak is laid to rest? He is not laid here. This is the tomb of the Orc Slayer. Right. Oh, right. Have you seen any shields recently? No. How you fixed for stairs? <laughs> <laughs> I do not deal with stairs well. Mm. If we're not in this grotto in five seconds, I am <laughs> laying right, down. Look, he just I am said, laying down for a nap. He just said he doesn't take stairs well, so let's, let us just leave it there leave and go just down to clear, the grotto. I hate you all. <laughs> you've been a pal. <laughs> we spent so much time getting you. You've been a real scion. You've been a real straight up guy, and you were worth the action points. We didn't even get to use it once. <laughs> <laughs> All that trouble. Oh, we had such grand plans of it laying waste to everything in our path and just waltzing through. But nope. Could have cleaned up spiders and... All right, so you position it so it's kind of pointed down that tunnel like, there. Yeah. And uh, you begin your descent down the grotto. Why not activate it once for fun, just down the hall? <laughs> <laughs> just see what we hit. Burn the hall. <laughs> yeah. Done. 